Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Eric Bird, here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And today, we're going to talk about how can you earn 10% on your money. That's right. A lot of people are sitting around here going, I can't earn money. Well, how about making money while you sleep, while you're on vacation, where you want, when you want, how you want, while you're on the beach? You've heard about it, so why not do it? We're going to talk about it today. And welcome to Fossey Optics. Check. Stop struggling now, gear. Check. And please like, subscribe and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. Now, let's get to it. All right, welcome back. And as you can see, we're on the YouTube Stop Struggling Now YouTube channel. And I want to thank you for being here. And please notice we went over 7,000 subscribers in the last few days and I want to thank everybody for your support and please share the videos and like the videos and share the videos to other people so that they can get some of this valuable information that helps somebody without calling themselves a guru without charging for courses we're giving you the real stuff here and there's more to come so stay tuned today we're talking about making money work for you and everybody says, man, I wish I could earn percentages on my money, a.k.a. make money while you sleep, make money while you party, make money while you're on vacation, make money when you're doing whatever the hell you want, when you want, where you want. All right, we're going to be talking about the stock market, of course. Some people call it gambling. That's just another way to say I don't know what I'm doing when I go buy tennis shoes, when I go buy clothes, when I go to the fast food and buy food, when I go to the club, when I go to the movies. You're not getting anything for spending all that money. But yet, somebody says, you know, you bought a hundred dollar pair of whatever, and then you say, hey, why didn't you put 50 of it towards something? You know you can earn 10% or more on your money. This is why people have to download the Robinhood and Webull apps. At least you'll get a free share of stock from Robinhood. It's free just for downloading the app. Webull right now, it's only free if you deposit $100 or more. And today, if you deposit $100 or more, they will give you two free stocks at Webull. The links are down below. And without further ado, let's get into some stocks and bonds. Unfortunately, no bonds earns 10%. So we're going to be getting into stocks that can earn you 10% or more on your money right now, today. I don't need to do anything else. Here we go. NLY, NLA Capital Management. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a financial guru as this is the new no guru zone. I'm not a tax consultant. I'm not any of that. I'm just a YouTube guy that's trying to help people make money. I'm here at Seeking Alpha. The reason why I'm at Seeking Alpha is because it's pretty straightforward. You can see the uh, $12 and... Hold on, let me change my screen up a little bit for some reason. 12.36% on your money at $7.17. Can you imagine when the price goes down further, your dividend yield goes up? So right now, if you would have had this stock yesterday on 929, then you would receive a payout October 30th for 22 cents. That's 88 cents a year on a $7.17 investment, and that's how you get the 12.36. In fact, here's how you get the percentages of your yield for any stock if they pay out dividends. Like Tesla does not pay out dividends, for instance. 
but you would get your 88 cents and you divide that by seven dollars and 17 cents and that's how you get your dividend yield that is why if the price goes down the dividend yield goes up and if the price of the stock goes up your dividend yield will go down if you buy at those prices today if you buy at seven dollars and 17 cents or around that number you're gonna earn 12.3 percent on your money your investment every three months it says quarterly you will receive a dividend check getting the picture this is why you want a stable economy this is why the wealthy get wealthier because in an unstable economy like what we've had the wealthy can buy more shares of stock at a lower price remember you want to be a top 10 percenter remember that that's what you're trying to achieve next up a b r this is arbor realty trust 10 percent on your money exactly today 10.77 percent on your money and they give an annual payout of a dollar 24 cents five-year growth rate 17 percent payout ratio is enormous so it depends on what's going to happen they're in the realty trust biz depends on what's going to happen if they're going to keep giving out dividends with this payout ratio but dividend growth eight years again the wealthy are hoping somebody steps in and gets a hold of this pandemic so we don't have these shutdowns so we can get back to some sort of normal society these gains would be going on indefinitely are you getting the picture next up a g n c investment corp again today at this price 10 percent 10.34 percent on your money again payout ratios you have to look at you have to do your own due diligence five-year growth is negative again but here's the kicker they pay out monthly some people didn't know you could get checks monthly and what you want to do is you want to put on the reinvest you want to put reinvest your dividend click that link in your robin hood webull does not have that yet so there you have it you want to use the reinvest because then you're gonna just use the money you're not gonna take it out you're not gonna pay any taxes right now all right again a g a g is in george n is in nancy c is in charles for all the podcast members what's up next prospect capital a lot of you have heard me talk about this before P as in Paul, S as in Sam, E as in Eric, C as in Charles, 14.34%. You can see their payout ratio. You can see their five-year growth. You can see their dividend growth. So this is unusual that they're issuing dividends. So you have to keep your eye on these because sometimes they might wake up and say, hey, you know what? We're not going to do dividends anymore. But in the meantime, every month you receive a check. And I'm just using receive a check as a synonym because the reality of the situation is you're just reinvesting the money you turn on reinvest. You actually don't receive a check unless you want to. But again, you don't want to pay taxes on it, do you? Not yet. Remember, you got to hold shares of stock for over a year to pay, to pay 15% in capital gains. If you sell a stock day trading within a year, you have to pay 25% on your profit. So that's a huge difference. You can start running the numbers yourself and find out, are you willing to pay 25% because you just traded a stock? Or do you want to take a gamble, so to speak, gamble? Or do you want to wait a year from now and see where you sit and then pay 15% on any profits? In the meantime, let's earn some dividends, shall we? 14.34% for Prospect Capital. And now one of my favorites. You guys aren't going to believe this. I've mentioned this before. Frontline, F as in Frank, R, O. Their stock is only trading at $6.61. And as you can see here, no upcoming dividends have been declared. Except, even though Seeking Alpha says this, I just got 50 cents per share of Frontline. 
dividend payout today reinvested 31.55% on your money five year growth non-existence dividend growth zero years payout ratios again 77 but $2 a year payout on a $6.62 stock man I love misinformation see this here people might not think they give out dividends but yes they do and they did it was a beautiful thing I couldn't believe the number that I saw for a six dollar stock and then when I realized they pay out 50 cents every three quarters I was like that's pretty hefty you can do the numbers ladies and gentlemen let's keep going along the same lane is Nordic American Tankers, otherwise known as Nat, N as in Nancy, A, T as in Tom. 12.43% on your money. They pay out quarterly, and as you can see, it's 43 cents they're claiming for annual payout. For some reason, I think it's a little more because it seems like I get 20 cents every three months. But if they say it's 43 and you give a 12.43%, that's all right with me because if it's 80 cents then this is 20 percent dividend yield so I'll stick with what Seeking Alpha says on this but again they sent me 20 cents last quarter and I don't know if there's going to be 20 cents next quarter or they have cut the dividends to down to 43 cents but either way at this price point you're earning 12.43 percent at three dollars and fifty six cents per share we're going to keep going and remember, Exxon, who I mentioned months ago, years ago, XOM is in Mary. Yes, the oil industry is having a decline again. But look here at Exxon. They're still paying out dividends, and it's 10% at the $34.67 price point today. Their dividend five-year growth went up 4.9%. They've given dividends for 19 years in a row. Actually, it's farther, it's higher than that, but this is the dividend growth. Um, they've been giving out dividends for like 50 years. So, again, I received a dividend recently. So, again, another great stock to own. Something else that's going to be in the oil industry. Antero. Midstream, A as an Apple, M as in Mary, $5.50 stock, and once again, 22.36% as they give out a dollar twenty-three per year. And their dividend growth had been three years, but they don't have a track record for giving out dividends. Again, they are in the oil industry, which is taking a beating right now. OAS has filed for bankruptcy. I had a message, if OAS, what will happen with your shares of stock? There's only a couple of options. Most of the time when a company files bankruptcy, they screw over the investors because the investors are voluntarily giving money. The people that they owe money to, they have to settle with. Either they have to try and wipe it clean or they're forcing them to restructure their debt. So they don't care about, I hate to say it that way, but the investors most of the time, they'll wipe that clean and then restructure. But you never know on a company this small, somebody could actually come in, a big boy could come in and save them, buy them out, so to speak, and save the investors. It happens all the time. So you just never know. But their share, the OAS price, is going to drop. So it's up to you if you want to sell. Many of you, if you miss my community tabs, you're not a member of the Stock Struggling, Struggling Now group, then you would not have known that when the stock went up to $2 a share, I'm referring to OAS, when it went up to $2 a share, I put a message in under the community tab and in the Stop Struggling Now group, Facebook page group, and some other locations and said that I sold at one dollar and I believe it was 94 cents when it went that high when we bought it at 62 or 63 cents 
why be greedy when it goes up three times value? I know this is the age of being greedy with stocks and not settling for your profits, but I felt 62 cents or 63 cents, whatever I bought it for, and it goes up to over $2. I wish I would have sold it at $2.12 when I saw it, but I waited later in the day being greedy, and it dropped down to under, back under $2 to $1.94, $1.93, dollar ninety-five. And that's what I sold it at. So, again, these are the decisions that you have to make as CEO of your life. Remember, you're the CEO. CIM, Chimera Investment Corporation. Many of you have heard me talk about this before. 14.44% on your money at $8.36 today. $1.20 and they pay quarterly. Again. If you own CIM on September 28th, you would be getting a dividend reinvestment check, 10.29.20 in a month, earning 14.4% or higher. Because if you would have bought CIM a few months ago, the price would have been lower. Your dividend yield would be closer to 20%. Timing does matter sometime, but hell. 14% on your money is a great return as well. And let's turn to the beauty industry. For everybody that believes in those high-valued beauty supplies, this is an interesting company. Cody, I don't know if they suspended, but I do know I received a dividend reinvestment last within the last 30 days. And... If you invest at the $2.73, it's 14.34% on your money. And again, do your due diligence, double check, because whenever there's a down economy, some companies stop giving dividends. However, like I said, Cody gave me dividends within the last 30 days. I just don't know how long ago it was. I think it was two weeks ago. Members, uh, members under the community tab, they will know because all members, I give out more stock details when I buy. And I haven't even sold. But again, hopefully this helps you understand. There are ways you can earn 10% or more. You do have to risk. But remember, you don't risk your whole bankroll. Used to play poker. I used to play poker. If you have $100,000, you don't go to a poker table with your full bankroll of $100,000. Because on that day, it could be a bad day. And you might not be able to, let's just say, think clearly when you lose $30,000. You might think like a gambler and say, you know what, let me go grab another twenty grand, and I think I can get back. And the next thing you know, you're down fifty, And you don't want to do that. You want to do management, money management. So you don't put all eggs in one basket. What you do is you say, okay, I'm going to invest 10% in stocks, let's say. Then you might say, well, I'll put 10% in bonds. You might say, I'll keep 10% on cash. You might say, I'll put in 10% for precious metals, whether it's in the stock market or physical. You have to break it down, the assets class. You might say, I'll put 10% in crypto. Remember, there's links down below. You can sign up with Wealthfront. I'll even put in Tomo card. I'll even have links down below for if you invest in crypto that you'll be able to get loans, lines of credit later on down the road when fintech banks actually become a real big thing within the next year where you can actually use money, borrow money, get lines of credit against your investments which is what the big boys do, by the way, that they don't tell people. So when you're wealthy and have hundreds, millions of dollars, you can walk into a bank and say, hey, can I get a $3 million loan? And then they look at your account and go, of course you can. You have $40 million in here. They don't have to do credit checks. So this is what fintechs are trying to do with the ordinary citizen, which is yourself, the OCs. So with all that said, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into something else because a lot of people would say, well, Eric, I get your 10, 15, 20% on your money. But what about if the stock market goes down? 
Well, here's my remedy that I always pay attention to. U, uh, UV is in Victor XY. These are called VIX stocks. When the stock market goes down, these go up because there's more velocity. People are selling. People are trying to get out. So there's a velocity, and this rises. So when things are going relatively smooth, this just stays around a certain level. It only drops to a certain level. So like, let's see, in the last six months, it was up to over six months ago, it was at 60. Let's go a year. So you can see right here, this is like bottom level when the stock market is fine. So yes, I put, I buy a little bit of UVXY because it's under $20 and it's worth the hedge. It's worth the kind of insurance that I don't mind because it's going to fluctuate right now. Even with the stock market going up, it's going to fluctuate between 15 and 20, right? So I can live with that. But what I can't live with is when the situation happened three months ago and it went from, as you can see here, like uh, $11, $10, $17, and it shot up to uh, $110. If you didn't have just some shares in here, then you would not have reached that upside, which have been in certain cases, it could have been eight times your money, nine times your money within a matter of a week. So these are the things that you look at for when there's a stable environment and you say, OK, I'm going to invest a little just for the downside. That's the way I look at it. Not everybody looks at this the same way. And here you can see TVIX, F is in Frank. Robinhood doesn't trade this. So um, E-Trades and things like that, TD Ameritrade might be doing it. I know E-Trade does. But the uh, one year, as once again, you can see, it was well down 60, 70, 50. Look at this, 40s. And this went up to over $900, ladies and gentlemen, at one point during that fiasco. Um, let's see if it shows it. 806 is what they got it up to. And an intraday trading, which means between 9.30 a.m. and 4 p.m. Eastern Time, it actually went to $900 per share during intraday dating. It closed at 8.06. But as you can see, it's come crashing back down because the economy went from, let's call it the stock market, went from 23 thousand up to around 25 26 27 where it is around now so once again it's stabilized back down so what's the downside on this versus what happens if there is a crash you see the upside potential 10 times on your money 12 times on your money and then the last one v i x y and it's along those same lines you can see here hovering around 13 12 14 and all of a sudden when things got bad it goes up to $82 so again three four five times on your money depending on maybe six times depending on what you were doing back here $12 $13 you could have just bought it so you can see these sides with all that said ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching thank you for listening and please like subscribe and click the bell below so you get the latest updates and I know it's hard out here. This is why I illustrated the stocks were people that the price of a Happy Meal, the price of a combo meal, the price of eating out at dinner. And you could use that money to earn money while you sleep. Imagine going out, spending $100 for dinner. And that could mean $12. For the rest of your life, you don't have to do a thing. Think about it. Think about it. And let's go even further. Because I'm going to go with Prospect Capital. If they keep giving out dividends, that $100 is $14 for the rest of your life potentially if they were able to stay in business that long. But all I'm trying to say is, why are you missing out on this and happy to spend money elsewhere on clothes, on jewelry, on shoes, on cars? 
it makes no sense. You actually may have the money to invest. So down the road, when you're 10 years later, five years later, you might have a nice little nest egg. And with all that said, keep your head up, keep moving, and I'm out.